is in session and the fall sports season has begun. With that as a preamble, we welcome you to another edition of Maverick Minutes brought to you by Coogler Vision. I'm Dave Allers. Well, the men's and women's soccer teams have already started their season and depending on what time you watch this, volleyball, men's and women's golf and cross country could have also started their seasons as well. Needless to say, it's an exciting time here on campus as the Mavericks begin their first full season as Division I members. So while the fall season is underway, it was a winter sports season and they got a chance to start its season a bit early. The men's basketball team had an 11-day trip to Italy where it got a chance to, well, do a lot of things. We caught up with head coach Darren Hansen and got his impressions of his team's trip across the pond. Darren, you go on a trip like that to Italy, you've got the guys together for, you know, 11 days, you're traveling, you're seeing sights, you're doing that. What's, what's the most important part of a trip like that? Is it the, is it the extra practice and playing time? Is it the team bonding? Is it the, the cultural experience? What, what would you say is the, the most important part about a thing like that? Well, you know, I, David, I think you hit most of them right there. I, I think number one, you know, the educational part of it, I, I just thought was very important for our guys. We had a chance to uh, study Italy, study where, where we're going to go, uh, study what Italy is about, uh, be able to uh, compare and contrast cultures. Uh, and we did all that uh, pre-trip, during the trip, and now we're starting to sew up the end of the educational piece at the, at the end of our trip now that we're back. And I think that's very important. Uh, the next part that you hit on, I think, was the cultural part of it. Now that we've studied it, to go experience the culture, to see the culture, uh, to feel the culture is something that uh, you just don't get an opportunity to do very often and maybe once in a lifetime for a lot of our guys and, and, and even me as well. So that's something that I just thought was very important for our guys. And then the time that we've got to spend together over there. You see each other in a different light, um, in not so uh, secure situations, um, you know, not, not always comfortable. Um, you know, you don't speak the language sometimes, and, 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 it, uh, and, and it made guys uh, react a little bit differently. And I think that's been good for our guys to spend all that time together. And then you, you hit the last thing. I think the 10 practices were very important leading up to that. Yeah, chemistry is so important, like you say, the bonding. When you're, when you're in a foreign country where very few, if any of you, probably speak Italian, you really do rely on each other for a lot of stuff, which I've got to think is going to pay dividends come November when you guys start playing. Well, we hope that's the case. You know, that those are the things that uh, that we tried to uh, uh, talk to them as we were there. Uh, make sure they're always spending time in groups of three or four. We tried to switch up those groups some, switch up uh, who ate with who some, switch up who roomed with who some. So we try to see as many as as many guys as we could in different situations and know as much about each other as you can off the floor and hope that that translates to on the floor. Well, Darren, a wonderful experience, obviously, for you and your guys. Thanks for sharing some of your uh, recollections. Dave, I appreciate it. Here with a couple of seniors who made that trip over to Italy, Kyler Erickson and Randy Reed. And uh, guys, I, I've got to imagine for a couple of guys from the Midwest, uh, Randy, you're from St. Louis, Kyler, you're from here in Omaha. That had to be uh, quite an experience. Did you ever think that basketball, uh, Kyler, would take you to a place like Italy? Yeah, you're definitely right. Um, it was, I call it a trip of a lifetime just because um, before we left, people were saying, you know, you never know if you'll go back. And I think um, the coolest part was going over there with the whole team, um, building relationships, and then seeing uh, all the sights. It was just uh, something I thought I'd never be able to do. How is it from a, a team perspective? I mean, you guys are obviously in, in very close quarters. You're doing a lot of stuff over there together. It had to be, Randy, I would think, a, a great team bonding trip. Oh, definitely. Um, well, even outside of the basketball games, like every night we have like a two hour drive from the hotel to the game, or from the game to the hotel, and we just play like games with each other, whether we were like rapping or freestyling, <laughs> you know, just something yeah. and the entire team would do it. Sure. You know, so just you get to know each of the new guys a lot better and then they get to interact with the older guys and then like now you know how each guy likes to be you know. Right, exactly. Kyler, the, the, the results of the games that you guys played were mostly lopsided. You guys uh, won all four of your games over there. Was it still productive from a basketball standpoint to be able to play those four games? Yeah, it really was. Um, and the score, you know, doesn't always indicate how the game went. And so during the course of the game, there were sometimes uh, early we were down a few um, or, or tied. And so we were able to work on some sets, um, you know, some half court offense, defensive things. Um, and so, although we blew them out, we were still able to get uh, a lot of work done during those games. Well, uh, a trip of a lifetime, as you said, Kyler, and I'm sure you guys will be uh, 
be regaling friends and family with those stories for a long time to come.